Welcome to Six Sigma Consulting. In this video, we will be focusing on the concept of continuous improvement, also known as CI. Continuous improvement dates back to 90 years ago. It all began with the car manufacturing company, Toyota's founder, Sakichi Toyota. He manufactured automatic looms at that point in time. He began by making small and continuous improvements, which eventually added up to making major benefits for the organization. By the 1950s, Toyota had implemented quality circles, which consequently led to the development of Toyota's unique TPS, Toyota's production system, which centered on continuous improvement in different sectors, such as quality, technology, processes, safety, productivity, company culture, and leadership. He, began, he claimed that CI efforts would result in faster delivery, lower costs, and greater customer satisfaction, and they did. In the 1980s, Masaki Imai introduced the concept of CI to the Western world. However, even though continuous improvement is beneficial towards an organization, there are multiple misconceptions about it. People believe that continuous improvement is only for manufacturing organizations, which is false. It is time we make a culture shift and apply continuous improvement to all types of organizations. We should perceive CI with a more subtle and flexible attitude so it can smoothly adapt to the environment. Another misconception is that people think managements are not in favour of continuous improvement. That is typically not true. Managements usually support and encourage continuous improvement as it paints a pretty picture. Leaders have admitted themselves that continuous improvement does tend to transcend downhill at times. However, when it is implemented correctly with the right expertise, it pays off. My area does not require CI. That is a misperception often leaders and managements don't realize. There are conflicts and issues occurring in the organization which they are frequently not aware of. Continuous improvement is only for large organizations. Many professionals believe CI requires a large investment which small and medium enterprises are not capable of. That is an assumption which is based off theories and no evidence. Continuous improvement is way too expensive. That is not true. Efficient and effective CI should pay for itself either now or in the long run. Either way, it will garner multiple benefits. So ignore these misconceptions and immediately implement continuous improvement in your business. To find out more about how you can be supported on your journey, feel free to contact Six Sigma on 1300 Six Sigma or visit us at www.sixsigmaconsulting.com.au. Before going, leave us a like if the video helped you out in any way. Comment down below what you, what you would like to see next. Click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to always get notified when we post. And finally, please share this video among your community to spread awareness. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.